I was actually born in Statesville, North Carolina, but I only lived there two or three months of my life and spent most of my life in High Point, North Carolina. Uh, well, I had two sisters and a brother that I grew up with there. I went to High Point Central High School, and, and, and maybe I'm showing my age, but back at a time when you could play more than one sport, I played three sports, actually four sports in high school. I played uh, football uh, as a quarterback, I played basketball, baseball, and played golf one year too. So I love that day because, you know, I, I think today it's unfortunate sometimes when guys play only one sport, but uh, so I was fortunate to be able to play a lot of things. I went to the University of North Carolina uh, and was recruited there to play basketball. Played for the great Dean Smith. Uh, he's simply one of the best coaches ever. And uh, you know, I had a chance to learn a lot from him, how he organized practices, how he organized the team, how he developed the team. Uh, just an amazing opportunity for me as a young guy. Didn't play a lot in college. Uh, I did a lot of sitting just like I am right now, but I, but I played behind some great players and, and had a chance to, you know, to make some good friendships through that but, and stay very closely in touch with a lot of those old North Carolina players as well. I've had an unusual coaching career in that I haven't moved a lot. Uh, I think most coaches are always looking for the next stop. Uh, for me, I like to get my roots in the ground and uh, I've been coaching for probably 35 years now and been to three schools. Uh, I was a 10-year high school coach at Episcopal High School in Alexandria, Virginia and loved it. Uh, I taught history while I was there. Uh, uh, for 17 years, was the head coach at Hampton Sydney College, a Division III school, which you know, we went to the uh, NCAA National Championship game several times. And uh, then I've been here at William and Mary for eight years. So uh, I enjoy being in a place that I can call home. And uh, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to think I could finish out my career here at William and Mary. Um, what specifically attracted you to William and Mary? Well, I think it's a great fit for me, personally. You know, in recruiting, we talk a lot to players and families about the right fit. And I think this is a great fit for me. I've always been in schools that valued education. Uh, my father was an educator his whole life. Uh, so it's, it's always been important to me. Um, so I think William and Mary is a place that you know you can you can play high-level athletics but get a great education, and that's very important to me. And uh, I guess I've proven that, and that two of my three sons have gone to William and Mary. You know, Chris graduated from here and played professionally uh, in baseball, and, and Jackson, my youngest son, will be a junior next year. So uh, I've seen William and Mary as a as a parent, uh, and uh, as a fan, and as an employee as well. the size of it you know uh, I really do I think William and Mary gives you the feel of a big-time place big-time campus big-time facilities yet you only have 5600 students and I love that ratio I love that feel um, and uh, very few places can you play athletically at the level we play in the facilities that we play in but have you know 14 15 16 people in a classroom with you so I think it's a great balance Right now, I'd probably have to see Holden Beach, North Carolina, just a really small family beach, place we love. Uh, my father, without question. He just worked hard every day and uh, didn't need fanfare. He just he did what he was asked to do. And uh, I'm very lucky to grow up with a mom and uh, mother and father the way I did. Normally I would say I love to spend time with my three sons, but they're all getting old and out of the house right now. So, uh, you know, I, I have a passion right now for playing golf at times when I have the opportunity. And uh, I've got a little boat that I love to get out on the rivers around here in Williamsburg, the James and the Chickahominy, and, you know, just spend time out on the water. I, I really enjoy the water. I think the greatest challenge has been the perception of basketball here. It's to, to you know, overcome the perception that you can't be successful in it. And, uh, and you can look around, around you at William and Mary, and there's so many sports that are winning championships. And uh, I do think it's a little more difficult in basketball at times. But uh, uh, I think changing that perception, uh, creating a winning perception, is a difficult thing to do. But I think we're doing that. I mean, I really do. I think there are a lot of people proud of our program right now. and. The type of young men that you know are representing the school, and 
Uh, I think, but I do think that's been the toughest challenge.